Thanks, Brannis. A study out of South Africa shows that the Omicron variant is infectious, but less severe. Now, this study is based on preliminary data, and it shows that two doses of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine provide 70% efficacy against serious illness and hospitalization. Now, this is the second reported case of the variant in Illinois is causing concern among infectious disease specialists. And joining us to talk about all this and more are Dr. Robert Murphy, professor of infectious disease at Northwestern University's Feinberg School of Medicine and executive director of the Institute for Global Health, and Dr. Maximo Brito, an infectious disease specialist and professor at UI Health. Welcome uh, both of you to Chicago tonight. Uh, Dr. Brito, first of all, uh, we're nearing a grim uh, landmark here, two years into the pandemic, one year into vaccines uh, first being introduced, 50 million confirmed cases in the U.S. and 800,000 deaths. Your reflections on, on how we've gotten here after two years. Well, you know, it's it's unfortunate that we've gotten here, especially over the past six months when we, or, or over the past year, that we've had vaccines available to the public. I mean, certainly amongst those people who, 800,000 people who died, there are many that were uh, deaths that were preventable by vaccine and unfortunately uh, didn't happen. Uh, the way, uh, you know, we, we wanted it to be. But it's important to look forward and know that we have important tools to fight the pandemic and continue to do whatever we can to get as many people vaccinated, this time with the booster. Uh, but whoever hasn't gotten the vaccine, they need to start the series as soon as possible, especially in the setting of Omicron. And Dr. Murphy, that vaccine was widely available around the second or third quarter of the year, and yet deaths this year have outpaced last year. What went wrong? Well, the problem is the unvaccinated people are really driving this uh, pandemic. And if you look in the hospital, you can look at the University of Illinois, you can look at uh, uh, Northwestern, it's predominantly full of people who are unvaccinated. Once you get sick with COVID and you end up in the hospital, it's too late for the vaccine. And that's what's imploding the health system, uh, not only here, but actually it's worse in other places, like in Michigan. I mean, it, it is really a crisis there. And this is going to continue uh, until we get the vaccination rate well over 90 percent. Especially with these colder indoor months uh, just beginning. Dr. Murphy, I'll stick with you. Okay, Omicron, what do we know now from preliminary data? It is infectious. It does cause a less severe disease, but... The Pfizer or Moderna vaccine uh, are not exactly foolproof in, in blocking this variant. Yeah. Well, here's the facts. Last week, 0.4% of all the COVID in the United States was, was Omicron. As of today, that's up to 2.9%. That's a seven-fold increase in one week. That means that we have a doubling approximately every two days. This is way more than Delta. Uh, and then you've got New York, New Jersey, uh, and Puerto Rico uh, that are now up to 13% uh, is Omicron. So this thing is going to take over probably this month uh, at the latest uh, in January, and we're going to see Omicron take off. The good news, you already mentioned, it may be a little bit milder disease, and the vaccines, the mRNA vaccines appear to work, but actually you have to have the booster. You've got to have the first two, like uh, Max has said, and you need the third one to really get the 70% protection. And of all the people who've been vaccinated, only a quarter of them have had the three shots. So we've got to work on the boosters and we've got to get these unvaccinated people we have to offer them the vaccination. A campaign for boosters uh, will have to be up and running. And Dr. Brito, uh, officials have announced uh, the detection of Omicron in Cook County, in Illinois. Uh, from, from your vantage, what does that portend for the weeks and the months ahead here? Increasing in the number of cases. We were expecting uh, the first cases to be coming to Illinois, um, as with uh, for uh, 36 uh, states. And as Dr. Murphy says, we're fully expecting that Omicron sometime in the next month will take over Delta as the predominant variant uh, in the U.S. So I'm not surprised that we have our first two cases and there are more to come. Um, we expect uh, that, you know, Omicron will be the predominant variant in the state of Illinois pretty soon and in the country. 
And that's an ominous sign there. And let's uh, listen to what Dr. Fauci has said about booster shots uh, at a White House briefing. Take a look. There's no doubt that we can say that optimal protection when you're dealing with an mRNA is with three doses. There's no doubt about that, both for the durability of the infect of the protection as well as the protection against the Omicron variant. So there's little doubt about that among those of us who work in this field. Uh, Dr. Murphy, Dr. Fauci is saying there's no variant of booster shot needed, but a booster in general. What, what do you make of the statements? Well, you know, Dr. Fauci's uh, Vaccine Research Center uh, at the NIH uh, did a lot of the early work with the Moderna and the mRNA vaccine. Uh, he's very intimately involved uh, in the development of that. And plus, he's our leading uh, expert uh, in the country, and he's, he's aware of how good these vaccines work. He's not ready to pull the trigger yet to redesign a new vaccine, which is going to take at a minimum three months, probably five, to retool it. And with all this virus replicating, it, Omicron is just, that's the one today. You know, what is it going to be tomorrow? What is it going to be next month? Uh, it's probably going to change again. So the question is, when do you start retooling these vaccines? What he is saying is we can wait for the next one because you get boosted with this one, you're 70% protected against severe disease. So again, this the, the, the booster here from the original mRNA vaccine or any of the vaccines uh, is most effective at this point. Dr. Brito, Pfizer also has a pill uh, they're saying it's almost 90% effective uh, and strong against this variant. Um, once this pill is approved, uh, will that offer an extra layer of protection? It is a welcome tool in the fight against this disease. Um, it decreases hospitalization and severe disease. Um, so it would be a good strategy for someone who has a breakthrough infection or for someone who is unvaccinated. However, I should caution the public that this is not a substitute for the vaccine. This is an additional tool in the fight against the pandemic. We still have the best tool available is the vaccine. Safe, effective, and in and, and, and the best tool that we have so far. So it shouldn't be a substitute. It's a welcome addition. And we have a few seconds left, uh, Dr. Murphy. The upcoming Christmas holiday, uh, could this be dangerous if, if lots of folks are gathering in big numbers? Uh, you can do it, but you have to do it safely. So how do you do it safely? Number one, you keep the numbers down. You keep uh, stay away from dense indoor crowds. And if you're having a party at your house or dinner, whatever, everybody has to be vaccinated. Uh, if they can, if they're eligible for a booster, get a booster today, because uh, it'll probably be mostly effective uh, by the time uh, Christmas comes around or just the holiday season. So. Don't mix unvaccinated and vaccinated people. That is just a recipe for disaster. And just right. use common sense and uh, keep the numbers down. Important words to live by. And our thanks to Dr. Maximo Brito and Dr. Murphy. Thanks so much. Thanks for Thank having you. me. Good evening.